The sun is shining, trees are turning green, flowers are blooming. It's a perfect time to arrange a photo shoot. Use our simple life hacks to get creative pictures. Take a mirror, tool, paints, and a frame. What for? Watch it in our new video. My friend is an aspiring photographer. Simple portraits do not sit well with her. She's always coming up with something new. So she runs away somewhere right now. She must be chasing a new idea. The blue-eyed girl comes back with a frame in her hand. And this is the idea. Put a frame in front of the phone camera and catch your model in the shot. Play with the perspective. The model can walk closer or further. It will create an illusion that she is in a big frame. I will put my framed photo into a frame afterwards. What can be better than a photo outdoors? You can use natural scenery in spring and autumn to the fullest extent. Lie down on the grass and put a blooming branch into your hair. You can emphasize your hair or face with it. The blue-eyed girl is a real forest nymph. One more option is to blow a dandelion right into the camera and make a wish at the same moment you're taking a photo. The only trouble you can face while shooting in the grass is insects. The blue-eyed girl jumps onto her feet immediately. Flies and bugs make her panic. Yuck! On the other hand, the photographer gets all the blooming branches. In case you already have a gazillion photos with green trees, in the grass, with flowers and bugs, then hang a garland outdoors. You will get the most amazing shots with it. Cut crepe paper of different colors into strips. Tie the strips to the base of colored twine. Interchange the colors. Hang the garland between the trees. You can change poses and angles. Stay in front of the garland or behind it. Come out of it as though it's a curtain. Lift it with your hands and place it near your face. You can also take a picture of your friends or snap a selfie. The number of options is huge. Redhead and the blue-eyed girl manage to take nice spring photos. And it is super easy to make this garland. Exactly what you need for a photo shoot with your friends. I want to snap a shot. And Redhead has found a piece of plastic film somewhere and keeps running around. Stay! Don't move! It will be a great shot! To make clear plastic film, not so clear, attach petals, leaves, and dried flowers to it. Now, pull the transparent floral cover in front of the model and shoot her through the film as though it's a filter. Want flowers to grow straight on your head? Everything is possible with this awesome filter. And moreover, it will keep you dry if it rains. What about life behind glass? The model should look into the camera through it. You will get creative snaps with this effect. The glass partly reflects things around and creates an interesting optical illusion. And when you get bored with the clear glass, unleash your creativity and take paints. Cover the glass with a few shades of acrylic paints. Let it be something abstract. Shoot your model through the glass. Change the focus. Look for the most interesting angle. Keep experimenting. You can smudge the paint with your fingers to get an interesting pattern. Any photo will look unusual with these colorful accents. And my friend is happy that she has these highly artistic shots. The blue-eyed girl wants to take a photo with green ivy on the background. Wow! Surprise! Confetti rain! Ask your friend to throw colorful confetti at you during your photo shoot. Add some holiday atmosphere into ordinary photos. Add hashtag carnival, everyday feast, or my friend is the best photographer's assistant. She can throw confetti on your head or right in front of the camera. You will get different effects, but all of them will be festive anyway. Who's the girl's best friend when it comes to photos? Colored plastic film. You can make a few images at the same time with it. First of all, Tie a piece of plastic film as if it's Superman's cape. Ask your friend to help the cape fly while you're posing as a gentle lavender supergirl. If you're being shot from below, it seems that you're flying. But watch out! 
there can be a hunt after your cape, because everyone wants to be a superhero. Secondly, pull the colored plastic and use it as a soft and gentle background. Choose your image. One more option is to lay the plastic on the grass and lie down on top. It will look like fabric in the photo. Ask your friend to shoot you from above as if you are enjoying the sun rays. Beautiful portrait photos are guaranteed. And a selfie with your friend will get a ton of likes on Instagram. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How should I take a creative photo? The answer is simple. Take the mirror along for your photo shoot. If the model holds the mirror, it reflects different views and things around. It creates an amazing effect. Want a forest to grow inside of you? Imagine a tree instead of your head. Just put the mirror to the corresponding body part. In this way, you can also shoot reflections of separate objects or people. Create some mirror illusions in your pictures. Redhead cuts something out of paper with great eagerness. What is she up to? An origami club outdoors? It turns out that she's making an interesting cutout picture. It will be a filter for her photos. Draw swirls on a piece of paper, making a simple pattern. Make sure the swirls are linked in between. Cut out the background with a modeling knife. Be careful not to cut through the pattern. Put the cutout picture in front of the camera. Change the focus. You get an effect of a mysterious blur. It seems that Redhead is covered with elegant lace. My friend takes photos with a blooming bush. Let's add a little fun to her photo. Take a piece of tulle and put it onto yourself and then onto flowers. And afterwards, use it as a filter. Take photos through it. And if you want, you can just tie it like a bow on your head. Do not hold back your creativity. The blue-eyed girl models for her new profile picture portrait. She's chosen a nice and simple background. Hey, where are you going? The portrait should be on the orange background and not on the gray one. A great photo hack for a city shoot. If you need a nice background, just attach a sheet of colored paper or fabric onto a gray wall and take your pictures just with this piece on the background. Leave the gray walls behind the scene. Make sure you've attached your background tight. Otherwise, it can fall at the most inopportune moment and your friend will have a photo to blackmail you. These pictures with frames are way too boring for our background. I've got an idea. Let's replace them with a bright balloon decoration. Blow a balloon and fasten it with thin wire. Attach it to the base wire. Add balloons of different colors and sizes. Attach leaves and wire to paper flowers and fasten them between the balloons. Decorate the wire with ribbons. We fasten our decoration to the wall with painter's tape. Decorate it with hanging ribbons on top. You will get bright photos with this brightly embellished background. It adds some festivity and makes your pictures unique. It's a great sample of a simple and a perfect photo zone decoration for a birthday or any other party. It looks like a real photo studio. Redhead has beautiful flowers. She wants to take a photo of them, but the selfie camera doesn't create the needed effect. Her hand is too short for this bouquet. Maybe her friend will help. We take a few shots starring me and the bouquet. But the result is not impressive. We've got just regular photos with a bouquet. Nothing special. And what if you shoot not the top of the bouquet, but the bottom? Water refracts a picture in an unusual way. Take a couple of photos through a vase. Branches cover up all her face. I know what to do. Take the bouquet out of the vase. It is better now. And what if we arrange a whole glass photo shoot? Fill vases and glasses of different sizes with water. Choose an appropriate size for your face and make funny pictures through flasks filled with water. A fish tank styled photo shoot. Did you like our photo hacks? 
Then write in your comments which trick you will use for your next photo shoot. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new useful photo tips on the Troom Troom channel.